Good morning. Good morning. It is promptly at 11 o'clock, I would like to note. I hope, I hope you're enjoying all of the hot weather and cold mornings. It was, it was 65 in my house this morning. And all I could think of was my mother, because when it was going to be a hot day, she had all the windows open by like 5 o'clock in the morning. You came out for breakfast, and the milk was frozen on the table, it seemed. (laughs) And the excuse was, well, it's going to be hot later. Well, it's not now, you know. I I kind of understand that. We, We welcome all of you. And uh, Bev, you're going to welcome the folks watching on YouTube? I will. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good to see all of you here this morning. Happy Father's Day yes. to everybody. To the women, too. <laughs> I have a cute little one for you. His first wedding... A little boy was attending his first wedding. After the service, his cousin asked him, how many women can a man marry? 16, the boy responded. His cousin was amazed that he had an answer so quickly. How do you know that? Easy, the little boy said. All you have to do is add it up. Like the pastor said, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. Love you. God bless you all. Have a wonderful week. (laughs) And with that thought in mind, I invite you to stand as you are able and join me in our call to worship. As Henry brings in the light of Christ, God interrupted Samuel with an unexpected call. Here I am, Lord. Send me. God surprised Jesse, choosing his youngest son, David, to be king. Here I am, Lord. Send me. We join with Christ and are part of God's new creation. Almighty God, we come to join the harvest. Gather us in, O Holy One, for we would be your people. Amen. Amen. Now, some of you said amen, some of you said amen. I I just have to... I have to relay this, our tour guide in Israel. This was his best joke out of 10 days, so don't expect a lot from it. Uh, He told us the way to tell the difference between a good nun and a bad nun, the good nun says amen at the end of her prayers. The bad nun says, ah, men. That was the best one he had. <laughs> Good morning. This morning's gospel reading is Mark 4, 26 through 34. And I'm reading from the NIV. The parable of the growing seed. He also said, this is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the ground. Night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself, the soil produces grain, first the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts the sickle to it, because the harvest has come. The parable of the mustard seed. Again he said, what shall we say the kingdom of God is like, or what parable shall we use to describe it? It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds on earth. Yet, when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants, with such big branches that the birds can perch in its shade. With many similar parables, Jesus spoke the word to them as much as they could understand. He did not say anything to them without using a parable. But when he was alone with his disciples, he explained everything. This is the word of the Lord. Praise be to God. Join me in the unison prayer. Holy God, we want to be like Samuel, ready to change course when you call, ready to do our part even when it isn't quite what we expect. Open our hearts to your word in fresh new ways. 
Grant us the courage to say yes to your unexpected call and the strength to claim our place with Christ in the new creation you are cultivating. Amen. The Old Testament reading is 1 Samuel 15, 34 through 16, 13. Then Samuel left for Ramah, <coughs> excuse me, but Saul went up to his home in Galbaah of Saul. Until the day Samuel died, he did not go to see Saul again, though Samuel mourned for him, and the Lord regretted that he had made Saul king over Israel. Samuel anoints David. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul, since I have rejected him as king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I have chosen one of his sons to be king. But Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. The Lord said, Take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Then Jesse, to the, invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show you what to do. You are to anoint for me the one I indicate. Samuel did what the Lord said. When he arrived at Bethlehem, the elders of the town trembled when they met him. They asked, Do you come in peace? Samuel replied, Yes, in peace. I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourselves and come to the sacrifice with me. Then he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. When they arrived, Samuel saw Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed one stands here before the Lord. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab and had him pass in front of Samuel. But Samuel said, The Lord has not chosen this one either. Jesse then had Shammah pass by, but Samuel said, Nor has the Lord chosen this one. Jesse had seven of his sons pass before Samuel. But Samuel said to him, The Lord has not chosen these. So he asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? This, there is still the youngest, Jesse answered. He is tending the sheep. Samuel said, Send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. So he sent for him and had him brought in. He was glowing with health and had a fine appearance and handsome features. Then the Lord said, Rise and anoint him. This is the one. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David. Samuel then went to Ramah. This is the word of the Lord. Oh, my goodness. Good morning, Kenny. You look uncomfortable. <laughs> he you clearly needs something to eat. What? He Good needs morning. something to eat. He doesn't have anything between hey, his Amy, legs. Right, to have right. It. I know. Hey, Amy, Pastor Barry says, just a minute. Pastor Barry says you need something to eat. <laughs> I don't know where he is. He's hiding. I'm his... over near the piano. Food? Oh, okay. Food? Okay. Food? Yeah, food. Okay, go ahead, Kenny. Hey, Amy, you're always helping me out, and you've been pretty smart. Huh? huh? <laughs> <laughs> you wrote this, didn't you? Nope, I didn't. <laughs> well, Mr. Anyway, Barry you, did. Anyway, you seem to think you're pretty smart. You want to take a quiz? Well, what kind of a quiz? Well, Sharon. That was Sharon? Oh. <laughs> Sharon wrote this this morning. No, Re oh, she reading was this reading morning. it. She mentioned Samuel, Saul, Elab, Jesse, and Abinadab. Lots of Bible, Bible type names. Well, yeah, so this well, is church. What well, do you expect? This is a quiz about how well we know people from the Bible. What, what they did, and then it asked you to think of a theme song for each one. A theme song? Yeah, you know, like. Whenever Jaws was coming, the music was always the same. Da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum. Yeah. Well, shouldn't our Bible folks have theme songs too? Well, I'm not so sure about that, but it sounds kind of fun. And you can get the congregation involved too. Oh, that'll be like phone a friend. 
Huh? Yeah! <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of phone a friend? Yeah, like on Who Want to Be a Millionaire. Yeah, that's called phone a friend. But we're not going to be millionaires in here. How do you know? <laughs> huh. Please don't knock this over. <laughs> it's a wiggling. <laughs> okay, first person, Noah. Right. <laughs> Are you ready? Well, sure, why not? This does sound kind of fun, especially with some help. Okay, first person is Noah. Well, that's easy. He's the guy that built the ark. Right, and what else do you know about him? Well, let's see. God said he was a righteous man, and the world was <laughs> sinful. And God decided it was time to start over. So God sent the flood waters and wiped out all of the land animals that weren't on the ark. Good. What else does the congregation know about Noah? If you know something about Noah, raise your hand. Bev will either get the mic to you or repeat what you say so it gets on our DVDs for our shut-ins and YouTube. What do you know about Noah? Anybody? Well, something other than what I just said. Does anybody know anything about Noah? Hold on. I do. Wait he, for Pat. He, Noah was in the minority. Mm. Ooh. Janet's okay. Jane's got something, Bev. Yep. Oh, okay. He had a family mm -hmm. that he loved. Yep. <laughs> he survived the flood. He survived the flood. Yeah. He did. Yes. We got to hurry, people. Can he get Why do you hurry? want me to talk into this? Oh. Yes, Jane had something. I had the mumps one time. <laughs> no, what about Noah, Jane? <laughs> he was a very old contractor. Yes, he was very old. And he had all the animals two of each in the, of the world, of male and a female, and they all went on the ark, and they went by, set by each other, and lived by each other, and they all lived together in this ark, and got together. Clean animals, and they were, and clean animals. Mm-hmm. Yep. Anybody else? Um, no, I guess that's it. Okay, so now, what do you think the thing, no theme song, theme song should be? Anybody, Anybody any got ideas? any ideas? Well, well, here's one possibility. Raindrops are falling on my head. Just like the guy whose feet are too big for his bed Nothing seems to fit Those raindrops are falling on my head They keep falling Oh, that's too funny! <laughs> well, it wasn't funny for the people who weren't on the ark, but it's a great theme song for Noah. Okay, so who do you have next? Let's see. Adam and Eve. Oh, another easy one. They were the first people that God created. They lived in the Garden of Eden when everything lived together in peace. And there was no death or sadness. There were snakes. <laughs> yep. Okay. What would you folks in the congregation add to Amy's ideas? Well, Jane just said there were snakes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hang on. 
It was an evil snake, and it made her sin. Yes, absolutely. Clay, you were there. Don't you have something to add? <laughs> Clay, were you there, too? <laughs> Adam lost a rib. Thank mm. you. Yes. Adam was a typical, typical man. He did what his wife told him to. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Snyder. <laughs> and when it went wrong, he blamed her. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> she said. After they ate the apple and realized they didn't have any clothes on, they looked for fig leaves. Mm -hmm. Yep. Lots of them. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> These are all great ideas. Do you have any suggestions for a theme? Got one more. Oh, we got one more? Okay. After they ate the apple, they learned how to sew. <laughs> yes, absolutely. They had to make the fig leaves, you know? Okay. Do you have any suggestions for a theme song? Well, yeah. Pastor Barry, what song do you have for Adam and Eve's theme song? Take my hand, I'm a stranger in paradise, <laughs> all lost in a wonderland. Good one, good one. Lazarus. Well, I know one. Lazarus was um, Jesus raised him from the dead. Anybody else got any ideas? He was kind of stiff. <laughs> he mm -hmm. was kind of stiff. <sighs> Bev, anybody got no, suggestions? Who was his oh. brother? Who were his sisters? Hold on, I got one. Yep, Mary was his sister. The, the Lord knew that he was going to, he was dead, but he stayed where he was for a few days, and then he went to Lazarus mm -hmm. to, to wake him up. Mm -hmm. Jesus did cry, because he knew that he, it was, a, Jesus and Lazarus were, Great friends. <laughs> and there was a time we read that it was the first time that Jesus cried when he didn't go right at that moment to That's raise right. Lazarus, or Lazarus from the dead. That's right. Anybody else? I just got a bath from the dog. You got a bath oh. from the dog. Okay. <laughs> Every. Does anybody have an idea for a theme song? Ooh, a theme song for Lazarus? There you go. <laughs> yes. Bill's got one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Bill's got a theme song? I said, Up from the grave he rose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. I always feel sorry for Lazarus. He had to die twice. Right. I, I, yes, once isn't he bad did. enough, right? So what's his theme song, Pastor Barry?
Second time around. Second time around. <laughs> That's very good, Pastor Barry. Esther. Esther, did you know she was a queen, Kenny? No. Well, she was. <laughs> what does anybody else know about Esther, who was Queen Esther? Anybody? Got your roller skates on, Bev? Yes. Nobody? <laughs> Hold on. Got one. Okay. I know she's one of the star points in the Eastern Stars. <laughs> uh huh. I, I don't oh. know much more about her. I mean,. Queen Esther was the one who saved the Jews because Naaman was ready to hang her uncle. That's right. Yeah. Wow. Pastor Barry, do you have a theme song? I feel pretty, oh so pretty. <laughs> The queen has to feel pretty, right? That's a good one. Okay, Kenny, what's my next question? Job. Job. Ah, oh, he was a wonderful man. But you know what? That man had all kinds of problems. And you know what's really sad? Everything around him died. Does anybody know anything else about Job? I just saw a video not related to looking up these things, but it was talking about Job's children were killed, his property was destroyed, yep. his health was taken away, yep. all these things that Satan did to torment him. But you know the one thing he left behind? His wife. <laughs> You're funny, Barry. <laughs> You're lucky Kenny can't hear that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll comment later after he watches it. Right. <laughs> Shirley's got one. Oh, Shirley's got one. Okay, Shirley, what about Job? No matter what happened to him, no matter what trials he was put through, he never gave up. Even Amen. Even when his people told him, Job, just hang it up, but he didn't. Mm -hmm. That's right. Anybody else, Bev? No, no. No? No, no. Do you have a theme song, Pastor Barry? Oh, wait a minute. I got one. Oh, Hold on. wait, no, no, just... No. I don't know if he can pause it. Yep. Yep. Did you? Yeah. Um, after what Job went through, um, he did survive, and he multiplied at the end. He became great. He had children, and he the livestock and all. So right. through all that... He gave <clears throat> to and he, but he didn't ever give up on God and all the things that God had given him. But he did. He but at the end he gained all of this stuff and a new life. Very good. Okay, Pastor Barry, what was that? I've got a right to sing the blues. Oh. Okay. All right, Kenny. 
Moses. Moses. Ooh. Wow. He wandered for 40 years. He went up a mountain, and God said, wait a minute, you were supposed to bring so-and-so with you. <laughs> so he went back down the mountain, and you know what? Then they went back up the mountain. Yeah, he wandered for 40 years. What's anybody else think? He had Alzheimer's. <laughs> no, he didn't. Well, he wandered a lot, so he had to have something. <laughs> That's right. Sharon says he was in the basket yes, as a baby. Yes, he was in the basket as a baby. God can even use basket cases. Yes. <laughs> That's a good one. Any others? Anybody else? Oh, one in back. Yep, hold on. He was raised by the king's daughter. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and in the end, he had killed a person. And yep. he ended up in a desert for 40 years. Mm -hmm. And he met his wife there. And they, they uh, grew up and got married. And, and uh, they went back to Egypt. And he, he freed the Israelites. And he took them to Canaan. Well, he didn't get there to Canaan. But he, he, he could see it from where he was. Yeah. So, yeah. Very good. Anybody else? Nobody said anything about the Ten Commandments. Hold on. Yes, he did. did he was told to go up the mountain, and God gave him the Ten Commandments. But the first time he had the Ten Commandments, he came down, but his people were unruly. They were unfaithful. That's right. They were horrible people. So he did have to go up the second time and get the Ten Commandments. But as they were going, as the other ones were chasing him, um, they came to the sea, and the people were worried, how are they going to get across? So God had told him to take his staff and hold it out, and he, they parted the Red Sea so they could go across and get on the other side. Very good. Awesome. Anybody, Anybody else? else? Yeah, I think he must have gone through a lot of sandals, <laughs> or he walked barefoot. All right, Pastor. Hold on. What got, about a theme song? We got song? one more. Hang oh, on. we got one more. Wait a minute. She's headed down into the village to get the last one. Oh, okay. He was the only man that God talked to face to face. Ah, yes. Oh, very good. That's a good one. You guys are getting the hang of this, yes. All right. All right, Kenny, what's the next one? This is going to be a whopper. Yeah? Jezebel. Oh, she was not a nice lady. <laughs> she... <laughs> She wasn't a nice lady, and she was the wife of some king. You know the king's name? No, that's why I just said some king. <laughs> okay. Do you know the king? Oh, I know Jezebel. <laughs> Leave it to Kenny. <laughs> 
Does anybody know the king's name? Anybody? Hold okay, on. what about Jezebel? <laughs> roller skates, Bev, roller skates. <laughs> we forgot to tell her early, Pastor Barry. <laughs> I'm just guessing here, but I would bet when she ended her prayer, she says, Amen. <laughs> <laughs> True enough. I'm sure she did. <laughs> Anybody else? She gets too hungry for dinner at eight. She likes the theater and never comes late. She never bothers with people she'd hate. That's why the lady is a tramp. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Yes. Got a new one, Henry? I do. Okay. Who? Samson. Oh, Samson and Delilah. But he was a strong man. Anybody know anything else? He had big locks of hair. He had big locks of hair. Lots of hair. Lots of hair. Anything else? And to that cruel Delilah cut Was he off. a big guy? What'd you say? Was he a big guy? Like lots of muscles. Mm-hmm. Like yes. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what Kenny said? No. Kenny said until Delilah cut it off. His right. hair. His I hair. <laughs> Sorry. I said that cruel woman cut off his hair. Mm -hmm. Hold on, got one. Okay. Get a pussy. <laughs> yep, she cut off his hair and he lost all of his strength. Yes, he did. Yeah. And he ate grass and other yep. stuff. And, and he and he and he did he leaned up against the pow, uh, the tower or the the pillar and the pillar broke and it come down and it killed him. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I think so. <laughs> yep. Tear out his eyes. Made him blind. I think they they made him blind. It made him blind? Yeah. Okay. Anything else? She asked me why I'm just a hairy guy. <laughs> I'm hairy noon and night. Hair yeah, that's a fry. I'm very high and low. Don't ask me why. Don't know. It's not for lack of bread. Like the grateful dead, darling. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, Henry. Kenny. Uh. Do you have another one? I do, but I'm going to let you say her name. Why? You can't say Salome? Thank you. Okay. Well, what I know about Salome was she was a stepdaughter of Herod Antipas. She danced for him at his birthday party and she demanded the head of John the Baptist. Anybody know anything else? She found it cruel. Ooh. Evil. Like Jezebel. <laughs> um, oh. 
What, no comments? No comments. They're thinking. Nobody? Hold on, we got one. Okay, we got one. She was a good girl that did what her mommy told her to do when she requested John the Baptist's head on a platter. <laughs> uh huh. Any others? Well, those are Kenny's. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it? Okay. I couldn't go to bed. My head's too light to try to set it down. Sleep, sleep, I couldn't sleep tonight, not for all the jewels in the crown. I could have danced all night, I could have danced all night. <laughs> Very good. Daniel. Daniel? Well, wasn't he the one in the lion's den? And you know what? The moral of all of that was keep your mouth shut and trust God. Hmm. Does that mean you hope the lions are Christian and they keep their mouths shut too? Well, you never know. Anybody know anything else about Daniel? Why was he in the lion's den? Hang on. He grew up to be an attractive and advisor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He killed Goliath. Yes, he did. He killed Goliath. With what? That would be David. Oh, that was oh. David that did that. Sorry. Another D song. <laughs> D name. Yeah. <laughs> Got any guesses for theme song? What's a theme song you think might be for Daniel? <laughs> May you hum this all afternoon. Joshua. Oh my goodness. Do you know that Joshua marched around the city of Jericho? And around it, and around it, and around it, and around it. But he was also a servant of Nebuchadnezzar. Did you know that little tidbit? No. Okay. What'd you say? I heard you say seven times, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, seven times he marched around the city of Jericho. And they their horns. Yep, they blowed their horns, and they must have sounded so bad that the, the walls all came tumbling down. <laughs> yep, they did. Yep, they did. <laughs> and he followed after Moses. And he, yes, he, he followed after Moses. Yep. Moses didn't get to Canaan, but he could see it from where he was, and he passed away on the mountain. Yep. And then took over from Moses, and he led the people into the promised land. That's but there were many battles yep. to get there. Yep. Oh, we've been watching shows. I think you have been watching shows. You're doing very good. Yeah. I, I love the colorful clothes she wears the sunlight plays upon her head I hear the sound of a gentle on the wind that lifts her perfume through the air I'm picking up her vibrations she's giving me the excitation that's 
good. That's good. Esau. No. Let's do Peter first. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. But you, do you know who Peter was? He used to be Simon. Did you know that? Oh, you had me be because I was going to say he was going to pick a peck of, a peck of pickle, pickle pepper. <laughs> he can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> Peter used to be Simon, and he was one of the apostles. Anybody else? You could always tell Peter because he was the one with his foot in the mouth. Yes, Peter usually had his foot in his mouth. He Anybody Jesus else? Three times. He denied what? Jesus three times. Right. He denied Jesus. Yes, he did. Yep. Hold on. Okay. okay. We need to get Bev the uh, sneakers that have the roller skates that pop yes, out from them. Yes, absolutely. She needs them. He is also the rock that was built this church on. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, let's hear a theme song for Peter. Right, Kenny, give us another one. Esau. Esau. Ah, oh, he was the brother of Jacob, and he was the hairy one. Anybody else? Hold on. Okay. Gary, Gary you need to move closer. <laughs> Yeah, he yes. sold his birthright for a pot of stew. What did you say, Gary? I didn't hear you. He sold his birthright for a pot of stew because he was so hungry. That's right. He did. I think he may have been related to Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kenny's usually hungry. Anybody, Anybody else? else? No? No? <clears throat> oh, hold on. Oh. Looking for advance. He, he was kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> he was bad, yes. Yes, he, he was bad. But he was always going to get even with his brother. <clears throat> yep. And Jacob had to leave. He went mm -hmm. somewhere else. So he saw I was really going to get after him, and he wanted to kill him. Yep. But he never did at the end. Very good. And whatever comes our way, yeah, I gotta go make it happen. Take the world in a loving place. Fire all of your guns at once and explode into space. I like smoke and lightning. Mm. Every metal thunder, racing with the wind. And the feeling that I miss the lyrics. Ready, everybody? Just when 
when Kenny gets it, that stops. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I bet you you've got a really, really good one for us, Kenny. I do. I okay. call these guys three blind mice. Oh, jeez. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, <laughs> and Abednego. our very own Bill Snyder. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you know what? They were captives in Babylon, and the king threw them in a fiery furnace, or they opened the back door of the church. Mm-hmm. Whichever way. Okay. Who can do more than that? There yeah. was a there was a fourth person in with them. Yes. Uh, yes, God was in the in the fire with them, and the king kept cranking up the fire so it would be hotter all the time. But he could see four people in there, and finally he let them out, and the three came back out. Not singed and didn't even smell like smoke. Nope. Can you guess the theme song? Ring of Fire. <laughs> oh, that would have been great. There you go, Sharon. Yeah. my brain. Was that appropriate, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kenny, what's the next one you want to stump the congregation on? The Three Kings. Well, that's an easy one. They followed the star to the place where the baby was. Anybody else? Anybody? They brought him gifts. Yep, they brought mm -hmm. him gifts. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Yes. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And they ignored Herod. Yep. Yeah, well, was they just, went sorry. back the other way. Mm -hmm. yeah, they went back another way. Yes. Tinkerbell. When you wish upon a star, make no difference who you are. <laughs> Good one. I can't even walk straight. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah. Jonah? Well. Wow. He got swallowed by a big whale. And then you know what, Kenny? He got puked up. <laughs> yes, he did. He got puked up. And eventually, he went to Nineveh. Anybody else got more? Hold on. Anybody? Hold on. Uh, oh, yes. But good. And God told him to go to Nineveh, but he went the opposite direction. <laughs> and God created a big storm, and the, and the sailors threw him overboard, and he was followed by the big fish. Mm -hmm. Gary, you have anything? Gary? No. No? Bill thinks the theme song should be Splish Splash. Splish Splash, I was taking a bath. Well? Got a 
whale of a tail could tell you lies. A whale of a tail or two about the flopping fish and the girls I've loved on nights like this with the moon above. A whale of a tail, and it's all true, I swear by my tattoo. There was mermaid mini. Yes. Love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have another one, Kenny? I do, and his name is Elijah. Elijah. Well, he was a prophet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He was a prophet. His apprentice was Elisha. And he went to heaven in a whirlwind. And you know what, Kenny? He was the only person that went to heaven alive. Ooh. Anybody else got more to add? Why did those lights just flicker? <laughs> Ooh. That's I, say, I, say, I say Elijah got rocked by a hurricane. He got rocked by a hurricane? Okay. <laughs> Would you like to I like that. You got it. Where's the balloons, <laughs> Pastor Barry? We forgot something. We did. <laughs> we got two more. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Okay, Kenny, let's do this. Who is the next one? Methuselah. Methuselah. You know what? He lived a long, long time. He was 969 years old. And he was the grandfather of Noah. What you think about that, huh? Anything else? That was Medusa. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Go Granny Annie. <laughs> Kenny, I bet you you've only got one more. Can you tell me who he is? Last but not least, he is known as the Gold King. Oh, really? Well, what's his name, Kenny? Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> well, that was close. You got an extra little syllable in there. That would be Nebuchadnezzar. Isn't that what I said? No, you had something in it. Well, well, you know what? He was king of Babylon. He was a great warrior. He took the Jews into exile. And then he went nuts for seven years. You know why? Oh, I hate to ask, but why? Because he threw the three guys into the fiery pit. And Jesus walked out of there with them. That's oh. why he went up for seven years. Oh, wow. Who knew Kenny was so smart? <laughs> Not me. He's been paying attention in men's group. Crazy. 
But you know what? You're getting us out of this one. (laughs) You didn't write us an ending. I did not. No, you didn't. So I guess we're throwing this back to you. And the sermon today is all of these people had a theme song. My question for you is what will people remember your theme song as being? Lord, it is good to worship together, and now we pray the prayer together that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Gracious God, we know you have been generous with us and that all that we have belongs to you. Take our gifts that we return to you and use them to further your kingdom here in this place and around your world. Amen. Would you receive our benediction? Life is a mystery. We walk by faith. God calls us when we least expect it, inviting us to be in Christ. As you walk out into the world, know that you are part of God's life-giving new creation. Life is a mystery. Walk by faith. Amen.